What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rusty Guns. So today we're going to be taking a look at this rifle right here. This is the New England Firearms Handy Rifle, uh, chambered in 2.43. And uh, pretty good rifle, um, although some people have really good luck with them and some people don't. Uh, so I've heard anywhere from they shoot really, really well to they're terrible shooters. Um, but anyway, we'll go over some of the pros and cons of this. And I'm going to sh be showing you some of the light work that I have to do to this gun. The gun's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, actually really good shape. It just has some minor surface rust spots that can be taken care of pretty quickly. Um, but 20 inch barrel, uh, a 1 in 10 twist rate on it. Uh, typically they'll either have synthetic or wood stocks on them, uh, wood furniture. It's a lever brake, like I said, single shot, no safety on it. Uh, it does say it has a transfer bar in it, so uh, there's that. As far as the shooting part of this goes, uh, one of the common problems is the scope mount. And I'll bring you a little closer and uh, show you that real quick. Okay, so with this scope mount, as you can see right here, and I'm going to try to tip this up a little bit so you guys can see. You should be able to see my orange right here. If you can see that right through this spot right here. So it doesn't sit flush to the barrel because it's mounted to the barrel. One of the problems with that is, is that these um, scope bases are made out of aluminum. So it'll heat up quite a bit uh, when it's being shot. If you're shooting several rounds through this gun or if it's a really hot, hot day out, uh, this aluminum heats up much faster than this metal does, which then will put pressure on these scope rings and can cause the scope to start slightly coming out of alignment. And if you're shooting at a great distance, it can throw those shots off by quite a bit. Uh, so that's kind of a big problem. And that's typical of any rifle that has scope bases mounted to the barrel itself. So now some people have a problem with the twist rate. I've heard stories of people saying, well, certain bullet weights don't work as well, things like that. So if you have a rifle like this, you might want to try different bullet weights to see if you can get that grouping a little closer. Some people have said the opening towards the end of the barrel on theirs is a little bit wider than it should be. A little bit more bored out, I, I guess is the best kind of word to use for it. And so shot placement is kind of bad. Other people, again, say their shoots perfectly fine, super accurate. Um, one of the problems I have with single shot rifles that are lever brakes, and this one it does, isn't like that, but I'm going to go ahead and lift this up and show you, is if they're not stiff, okay, this one is very stiff. When this barrel comes down and closes, if there is any kind of movement in this barrel to the frame, the shots are not going to be accurate at all. This one is very, very tight, very, very flush. Uh, so I think the shots would be quite accurate. But over time, it constantly getting opened and closed and moved, it's going to cause that barrel to kind of shift a little bit. It just will happen over time. There's just no getting around that. Uh, that's why single shot bolt actions are a lot better. You don't have that issue um, with the barrel constantly getting moved and, and things like that, which you will if you have a single shot lever break. Um, but anyway, um, good little shooting rifle. Let me bring you a little closer. We'll, I'll show you some of the other features on it. Okay, here you got your standard hardened, your standard case hardened uh, hammer, as well as the trigger, uh, the trigger guard and the trigger group, this is plastic, okay? So definitely if you drop this, more likely it's gonna end up breaking. All right, so there you can see the transfer bar system in it. So when the trigger is held back, that transfer bar stays up. It contacts from the hammer, strikes the firing pin, discharges the round. If the hammer is not held all the way back, then that bar drops out of the way and then the firing pin falls into that gap right there on the hammer and it does not discharge. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk you around by hand and sh see if I can have this pick up 
you can see some of that minor surface rust. It's not bad. The bluing is still really, really good on it, but you can see where it has some of that minor surface rust going on. Frame is in really good condition. All of the minor surface rust uh, only appears to be, come on, focus for me. Most of the minor surface rust appears just to only be on the barrel. Focus, focus. Come on. It appears just to be on the barrel, as you can see. So that's what I'm going to be cleaning up on it. Um, it's not an expensive scope at all. It's been put on this. It's just, you know, basic scope. Here you can see part of the problem with the uh, scope mounts. If those bracket, if those scope bases aren't sitting flush, you know, that aluminum will heat up and then it causes problem with the brackets and then causes problem with the scope itself. All right, let's go ahead and uh, remove this scope and then we'll uh, open this up and I'll give you a better view here. As you can see, the barrel is very thick, so it will absorb a lot of heat. But again, if you are shooting rounds out of this and that scope mount is sitting right there on top, it will absorb that heat because it's aluminum. It will absorb the heat much faster and cause you some serious problems in your accuracy. All right, so for the rest of the particulars on this gun, other dimensions and things like that, I'm gonna throw all of that in the description for you guys. Um, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Um, I will do another video on this gun where I break it down, where I take off the forehand and remove the barrel and all of that stuff. Uh, remove the scope and the base so that you can see how it mounts to it. Um, but I have to do all that in a separate video because otherwise YouTube won't monetize this video if I show any kind of a disassembly of a firearm. Just the way it is, um, censorship at its finest, but hey, what are you going to do? You got to play by the rules if you want to get monetized, I guess. So anyway, thanks a lot for joining me, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.